Today we're going to be talking about Hollywood slang, Halloween jokes, puns, English tips, tips, tips. So, <laughs> can you click the chat? <laughs> it's kind of difficult. <laughs> So, welcome to another episode of EB Beads. Woo! 21! 21. 21. 21, wow. We're I've become an adult. Oh no, English Buffet has become an adult. An adult. Well, in my home country actually, 18. Same as 18. 18, but America. in America. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yay. Hey. Yeah, so for us 21 is just your winning number for blackjack, that's all. Oh, that's um, true. Yeah. Yeah. So today we are going to be talking a little bit about pronunciation. Pronunciation. Now we know that this is a very interesting topic for many of you students, and we have you have asked us about it uh, in the past. Uh, we would probably make this maybe a small series, make yeah. a few episodes out of it. That's it, and we'll hopefully get um, other teachers as well to come in and give us their uh, insight or their accents that we can try and help you out as well. Mm, very good. So many of our students, they say, oh, I don't understand the difference between British English and American English. Mm. And there are some points to watch out for, to take a look at. Um, one big point, especially for most central uh, England, like mainland, main part of England pronunciation, is that they don't pronounce the R usually at the middle of the end of the sentence, like after a vowel. For example, Jamie. What? What do you think, Georgie? Like a car, right? Or a, oh, I see. Like a supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I follow you. Mm. Yeah, sure. Car. Mm. Car. 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 Mm. The R sounds. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. We've been doing that a bit in the classes, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So, some parts of England, like um, Irish people, do pronounce that uh, R, right? Mm -hmm. So, how would an Irishman <laughs> try, do, do, do your best? Okay? Some Irish people might get very angry, but please bear with us, okay? Um, how would an Irishman say um, supermarket? Oh, that's a tough one. Okay. Uh, Su supermarket. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Because car would almost be the same, I think, right? Car. 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 There's a, there's a car though, there. That's right? it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Car. Yeah, it's a car. Go and get the car. Oh, good one, Jamie. Yeah. Thank you. And, um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the supermarket. Um, and now, many. People, mean, supermarket, yeah. Supermarket. Supermarket, yeah. yeah. So, many people who are not from the UK or from America. They often do pronounce these mm. R's, like Greek people, uh, Indian people, Italians, Spanish. They will usually pronounce those R's. What's the Greek pronunciation for it? You have no idea. Um, <laughs> so I have a very Greek accent when I'm in class, when I'm at English buffet already, right? And this, for a Greek, is a pretty good approach of good native English accent. So, um, occasionally, sometimes, a Greek friend will come to Japan, cool. a cousin, cool. or someone, and there is me, there is, let's say, Jamie, or an American person here, or a British person, and there is him. And when I speak English, I mean, we speak English because that's the common language, right? We all speak English. But when I speak to Jamie, I'll be like, all right, Jamie, uh, what's going on? Mm. Where are we going to have today? Yeah. We have some pizza we're we going to get. Mm. So I use my <laughs> kind of mama, a natural George pronunciation for English. And then I switch to my friend and be like, um, so Dimitri, what are we going to order tonight for dinner? Oh, you want to order this? Okay, I think it's very delicious. Yes, uh, I want to order uh, some pizza. And uh, how about some Coca-Cola? Mm, it's very good, right? That wow. would be the full Greek Ooh. pronunciation, right? So it's English. Yeah. Maybe for it's Japanese people, it's kind of easy to understand. Mm. But I love it. <laughs> it's, I can. Hit, it sounds like you're rolling your R's. Kind of, kind mm. of, yeah, yeah. And it kind of sounds like a little 
what's wrong? Russian, maybe. It does, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's or Spanish. It. Yeah, or, it does. Yeah. It has that sort of like, yeah, you can hear sort of bits of other places. Mm. That's what it sounds like. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I always, I always find it very fun to roll the R's. Mm. Maybe you've tried this before. So rolling the R is, um, what you're talking about, is something that people, especially in Osaka, can do oh, uh, when they get very angry. Like, uh, gorra. Ah, the gorra. Gorra, gorra, gorra. the royal gorra. So this is um, kind of a unique one. Some languages, like Spanish, it is part of mm. speech, like a double R in Spanish is a R. Yeah, same as Indonesia as well. They often really? roll the R's as oh. well. Yeah, it's very common. Nice, nice. Yeah. So rice in um, Spanish is arroz. Mm. Arroz. Arroz. You can try. Arroz. Oh. Good rolling though there. Thank yeah. you. Very good, very Thank good. Thank you. Um, so going back to British English, because mm -hmm. today, well, we have yeah, here, yeah. I want to focus on. Um, some people think it's, you know, American English, British English, maybe Australian English, and that's <laughs> it, you know. But, of course, there is much, 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 much more to this story. Inside British English. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. It's <laughs> very heavily influenced by European uh, languages. And we got many accents inside England. Mm. If you go to Manchester, if you go yeah. to Newcastle, if yeah. you go to London, East London, <coughs> North London, West That's London, yeah. different. Yeah, all different accents. So, Jimmy, can you Ooh. just try a couple of London accents? or I, The one you'd probably have maybe heard of, the Cockney. Cockney accent. Cockney accent. That's the East London. I mean, so it's East and South. East and South London. So probably more South, yeah. And they will use something called a Cockney rhyming slang. Ah, the rhyming slang. Which is basically where you try and rhyme different words to connect to another word. So if I was to say something like, um, oh, I need to get on the dog and bone, I would say be wanting to get on the phone. Dog and bone rhymes with phone. phone. Okay. That's it. We might do this one like but yeah, we can another, maybe a bigger video for this. Video for that. But it. let's stick to just accents for today. Now, my accent is actually from West London, and it's probably the softest or lightest accent. And so, what I'm doing now is speaking the uh, uh, what West London accent. Mm. Now, East is a little bit more can be a little bit more, let's say, street or a bit more rough or casual. Okay, so um, how would you say I have? Gone to hospital. How would you say that? I've gone to hospital, innit? One more time. I've gone to hospital, innit? Can you slow down, please? <laughs> <laughs> I've gone to the hospital, innit? In it is like. Right? Isn't it? Isn't or it? Right. Right. So, oh, okay. But the one I think most Japanese would have heard is probably in more north, so outside of London, probably Oxford or Cambridge. Okay. Which, where the nose is very high, and we go, oh hello, uh, and it sounds a little bit like the Queen. <laughs> Would you okay. like a spot of tea? <laughs> oh Jeffrey, please come and get me a piece of paper. <laughs> I would like to write it down. <laughs> is it is this actually still used? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah if, you, if you go to these areas, you'll definitely hear this kind of. Now, obviously, I'm doing a more joking impression of it but it's very similar to this okay and sometimes the teeth will come out ah yeah. right yeah <laughs> that, that one again i have seen yeah i've, <laughs> yeah. I've heard I'm, I'm not sure why it is but i've heard in england there is the received pronunciation mm. what is that so received pronunciation is actually where well, you'll probably hear it most commonly from news readers mm. And this is a very uh, clear pronunciation. Okay. So it's obviously meant so there's no confusion with accents or with words, and it's just formally used in these things, usually for broadcasting. Oh, like so, like TV channels mm. and BBC That's and. Oh, ah, okay. Now, yeah. obviously, with many cultures coming in, people won't be using it so much, but it was very, very common. Um, previously. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nice, mm. nice. So, you might wonder, like, why does English have all this pronunciation, all yeah. these rules? Tell us. 
I I don't know. <laughs> uh, I know some things though. Um, so both for American English and for British English. Now, it really depends where it's um, part of the population came from. Um, a lot of uh, American English was influenced by uh, Irish um, sailors, mm. Irish people who worked on boats, mm. um, people coming from other parts of Europe would also try to pick up that English to use in the New World. Yeah, so. um, there, inside England there have been influences by different languages. Mm. Inside the English languages there is a history. Um, we had a part of English history where in England the main language was French. Yeah, that's it. Because we had the French king. French king, right, right. And for a long time the official language was um, French and English was like a, you know, the poor man's language, mm. the commoners, Common, the, exactly. yeah. Mm. But then it bounced back, it returned again to be the main language there. Um, there was Norse, right? When the yeah. Vikings mm. attacked, they took over big, big parts of England and they were speaking their own languages, Scandinavian. And after they were either fought off or assimilated, they, mm. after this whole era finished, many words remained, many pronunciation quirks remained, mm, right? Yeah, that's it, very true. So, it's very interesting. Um, if you find that in English sometimes, oh, this pronunciation and this pronunciation, even though the spelling is almost the same, mm. it's so different. It's probably because they come from a different root, a different language. Mm. And my language is actually one of those, like yeah, Greek true. influenced. Yeah, that's English. it. You have some of the origins. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yes, well, it's actually quite interesting. Now, what I heard, now you'll have to check this, but what I heard is the English language we speak now is different to what we previously spoke. Now, when we had the Americans, um, when we explored America and we had the big revolution, um, we were actually, our English was probably closer to the American pronunciation, mm -hmm. but it got changed when that big break happened and the aristocrats or the people in power decide to try and force the language to change. Mm. And so they try to adopt a more, um, I don't know, a more... A El more elitist? Yeah, maybe that's it, a more elite or a more higher class pronunciation. So it's actually quite interesting, that sort of origin of what we used to speak and what we now speak mm. yeah, can change so quickly. Right, right. I even heard that in Old English, which is even before that, like like a long, long time ago, um, some common pronunciation rules were completely different, like a boot oh, right. or like boom would be bought or bomb, wow. like a double O, that, that was it. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, a bit of bought. Bought. Like a double O, O, O. Wow. But, you go, it's changed. <laughs> but even now, right? Even now, accents and pronunciations are changing with influences from other countries. Now, I'll just to say this um, in East London, it's heavily influenced by Jamaican uh, pronunciation. Really? Yeah, that's it. So a lot of Jamaicans um, came over or were brought over to England, and when they brought their families here and created societies, a lot of that vocabulary was heavily influenced by that country as well. So. I had no idea about that. Yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. But mm. this, that's why there's such a variation of uh, accents or pronunciations in London, is because there's so many different cultures mm. all influencing each other. Really interesting. Um, there's so much talk about the pronunciation. Mm. Like, even in England, that we just said only like half or a third of what, yeah. what we wanted to say, but um, we hope to be getting some more teachers. Yeah. In the, place. Um, the only thing we want you to take home to remember is that, yes, American English and British English are different. You don't have to study everything. You yeah. can choose the one you like mm -hmm. and go with that. But a main point to remember is that your katakana pronunciation is mostly based off British mm -hmm. English, like ka, credit card, mm -hmm. um, supermarket. Right? You don't say er there. Whereas an American would say super market. Ah, right? That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes you do put some American there. Like, um, 
what's his name? This um, bump of chicken. Actually, it's a it's a J rock band, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And one of the favorite famous songs is called Karma, but in British we say Karma, 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 mm. but it's Karuma in Japanese. So, which is based more of the pronunciation that do pronounce the R, like Irish or American, yeah, yeah. right? So it's kind of interesting. Even in Japanese, you have a bit of a mix. Anyway, we hope we don't get too mixed up by this video. Yeah, but hopefully you can enjoy the series that mm. we'll try and do for this and you can learn a bit more, have fun with it, and make sure you give it a try as well. Mm. At home is okay. Yes, if you want us to talk about this specific one, like please talk about Australian, please talk about American mm -hmm. English or something, please. Yeah, let us know. Write a comment below. Yes, let us know. And I'll and try and do my Australian accent. Oh no, that was New Zealand. Oh no. Oh. That was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be murdered by some of our <laughs> stuff. Um, anyway, yeah. uh, thank you for watching. Mm. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't yet, also click the subscribe button. Mm, very good. And make sure you hit that bell button as well mm. to be notified when there's a new video coming out. Yes. And that's all for today. Yeah. See you later. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.